if you want to buy a gaming PC build that fits your budget to play at 4K resolution at smooth frame rates in high demanding games and also esports shooters with no lag, FPS drops or any bottlenecks, then this is going to be the perfect video for you. The link to all these systems for 4K resolution will be down below in the video description with the latest pricing and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's start. The first piece PC build is the best budget 4K resolution gaming PC out there. This is in my opinion the ideal PC if you want to play at 4K resolution, smooth frame rates and you do not want to spend a ton of money. So if you're looking to play at 4K resolution on a budget, this one is going to be perfect, especially if you don't play those very high demanding games like Alan Wake 2 or The Last of Us Part 1 on ultra settings. If you want to play the most popular games out there like GTA 5 or even games like Red Dead Redemption 2 this is going to be the perfect option for you. The key components feature the RX 7900G RE40 graphics card, a Ryzen 5 7600 processor, 32 gigs of DDR5 memory which is going to be ideal for content creation and streaming as well in case you want to do any of those tasks. Then you get a 1TB SSD and a Bitphoenix Nova Mesh Micro ATX case with plenty of airflow and 3 pre-installed RGB fans. Now in terms of the level of performance that you can achieve at 4k resolution you can achieve 60 plus fps on average in high demanding games on high to ultra settings however if you do want to play those high demanding games as i said before like alan way 2 the last of us part 1 cyberpunk 2077 and games of that nature i do recommend you turning on fsr which is the upscaler from amd for you to achieve higher frame rates if you end up turning on fsr instead of achieving 60 plus fps on average the fps number will increase to 80 plus fps on average on high to ultra settings in these same high demanding titles of course it will depend on the exact game and the exact settings but 80 plus fps is a very nice number considering the price for this system which i will be talking about in just a second then you can achieve 240 plus fps on average at 1440p and 4k resolution in esports games competitive settings and i'm talking about fortnite competitive settings or games like valorant or cs2 so you can have a 240 hertz 1440p or 4k monitor whatever you want to buy so this is going to be a pretty awesome budget 4k system that you can also use for 1440p very high fps at 1440p you will achieve 100 plus fps in high demanding titles so if you have a 1440p monitor and maybe you want to eventually upgrade to 4k down the line this is also a great system in terms of pricing the price for this system is under 1200 dollars actually by the time of filming is 1160 bucks but remember maybe the price is different when you are watching this one so the most updated prices will be down in the description with the next one we have the best value 4k gaming pc this one is the ideal pc if you want the best price to performance gaming system for 4k because this one is the sweet spot since you are playing at 4k very smooth frame rates without having to spend a fortune and if you can afford the most expensive pcs that is awesome and i will be talking about those throughout this video as well but if you don't want to spend over two thousand dollars in those type of pcs then this one is going to be the perfect one for you featuring the rx 7900 xt graphics card or rtx 4070 ti super if you want to go with nvidia instead you can go with any of them too the price is going to be a bit different and i will be talking about that in just a second and of course the level of performance but then for the cpu you get the same ryzen 5 76 angle which is one of the best value cpus out there then you get 32 gigs of ddr5 memory so this one is still amazing for streaming and then you get two terabytes of ssd instead of one terabyte so you get more storage than the last system which is going to be ideal if you want to install a bunch of games and then for the case you get the montec sky 2 gx which is one of the best looking cases in the market in my opinion and it has plenty of airflow in terms of the level of performance you can expect 70 to 75 plus fps on average in high to ultra settings in high demanding titles at 4k resolution by the way this is with no upscaling technology on so if you turn on fsr or dlss you will be turning on dlss if you have an nvidia gpu and you will be turning on fsr if you have an amd gpu now if you turn on any of these technologies then you can expect 90 to 100 plus fps on average in this same high demanding titles which is a very good number considering we are talking about high demanding games then you can expect once again 240 plus fps 
FPS in competitive settings in esports games at 1440p and 4K resolution. And the price for this system is $1385 if you want the RX 7900 XT graphics card from AMD. And if you want to go with Nvidia in the RTX 4070 Ti Super, then the price is going to be higher at around $1500. Now, if you go with the 4070 Ti Super, you get DLSS, which is usually the better upscaler compared to FSR from AMD, and you get a better level of ray tracing performance. So it's really up to you if you want to spend the extra to have those Nvidia features or if you want the best price to performance in the AMD graphics card. Now, if you want a higher end 4K gaming PC and you are willing to spend a bit more, then I recommend you getting the next system, which is the best higher end 4K gaming system. Now, this one is not the best performing one because it's not the most expensive one, but it is, in my opinion, one of the best systems out there and it has one of the best graphics cards for 4K resolution gaming. So this is the ideal PC if you want a very strong level of performance at 4K with no DLSS or FSR, nothing turned on, you just want straight native resolution, great performance in both high demanding games and of course eSports shooters, especially eSports shooters because you get the fastest CPU in the entire market or just any high demanding CPU title, for example Fly Simulator. So if you are going to be playing high CPU demanding games, then this is going to be the perfect system for you as well. Another reason to buy this system is if you want to spend around $2,000 so you still want to stay under 2500 bucks and get one of the fastest PCs in the market for 4K resolution overall. This PC features the RTX 4080 Super which is once again one of the fastest graphics cards in the market for 4K alongside the Ryzen 9 7900X3D which is one of the fastest CPUs in the market right now. Then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, 2TB of SSD and the same Montec Sky 2 GX which is one of the best cases out there and that's why I am putting this one again. In terms of the level of performance you can expect 85 plus FPS on average, high to ultra settings, high demanding titles at 4k resolution. So as I said before no need to turn on DLSS here however if you want to play with DLSS on then you can expect around 100 to 120 plus FPS on average in high demanding titles. So you can turn on DLSS it's just not going to be necessary because as I said before you will be able to handle native resolution pretty well with the RTX 4080 Super. Also the 4080 Super is the second fastest graphics card when it comes to ray tracing performance in case you want to play with ray tracing enabled. Then when it comes to esports shooters as I said before you have the fastest CPU out there so you can expect 360 plus FPS at 4k and 1440p resolution competitive settings in most esports shooters so you can buy a 360hz 1440p monitor or a 360hz 4k one. Now the price as of right now is going to be around $2,000 by the time of filming so it's definitely not cheap but it's also not the most expensive system out there. And before we get into the most expensive best of the best 4k resolution gaming PC build in the entire market I want to say that if you are finding valuable information so far subscribe and hit the bell icon that way you get notified when I upload new content and you get to learn more about computers. Now let's get back to the video and this is going to be the best high-end 4k gaming PC and it's going to be ideal if you just want the best performance at 4k resolution. If you can't afford this type of system then you are going to be enjoying the best of the best period. It's also the fastest PC when it comes to ray tracing performance and another reason to buy this system is if you want a future-proof 4k PC that will last you for the next couple of years. This system features the RTX 4090 which is the fastest graphics card in the market alongside the Ryzen 9 7900X3D which as I said before is one of the fastest CPUs in the entire market. Then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, 2 terabytes of SSD and the Montec King 95 Pro for the case which is in my opinion one of the best quality and one of the best looking cases out there. Plenty of airflow as well, a ton of fans and it's going to be ideal for the RTX 4090 and the Ryzen 9 7900X3D. With this PC in terms of the level of performance as I said before you can expect the best of the best and you can expect 110 plus FPS on average, high to ultra settings in high demanding titles at 4K with no DLSS on by the way and with the 4090 you don't need to turn on DLSS but if you want to play the most high demanding games out there with ray tracing on ultra, psycho settings and all of that then you may want to turn on DLSS to achieve slightly smoother frame rates but again it's not going to be necessary since you get the best graphics card in the market and in terms of esports games you can expect 540 plus FPS when it comes to esports shooters, competitive settings in 1080p, 1440p and 4k resolution so you can basically max out any refresh rate in the entire market in case you want 
the highest refresh rate monitor out there. The price for this system is $3,070 by the time of filming, which is a very high price. But again, some people want the best of the best. And if that's you, then congratulations, because you will be getting the fastest performance. And keep in mind that when buying a PC for 4K resolution, you can also buy a pre-built PC, especially if you don't want to build a PC yourself, you don't want to go through that process. Pre-built PCs for 4K are actually really good in terms of quality. So if that's you and you want a pre-built PC instead of building it yourself, then watch my video on the best pre-built gaming PCs of the month for every budget and every resolution. You will find it in the top right of the screen and in the video description alongside every PC build that I've mentioned today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.